All right, class, settle down. Class is in session. Everyone get to your seats. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Ikitsu. This is the Ikitsu Times. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to RimWorld. So as you can see, we skipped ahead just a tiny little bit here. I've added in things like this uh, comms console. I've traded for a little bit of medicine. But I haven't really done very much uh, here. One of the other things I've done is I've set up very basic defenses here. I've got this wooden wall here. It's important that it have concrete on both sides of it, otherwise a creeping fire from this side will be able to take out the wall. Um, we're going to eventually want to replace this with stone so that if they light a fire somewhere along the line, it won't spread. And in fact, they can't light it on fire at all. So uh, this will become a stone wall once we are capable of doing that. Um, but one of the other things I want to show you um, is that we are being sieged. So this is something that I think a lot of people sort of have trouble with. Now, you want to, when you're getting sieged, you have to be careful about it because um, if you send your troops out to sort of go and deal with this, you have a strong potential of being a little bit in trouble. So if we look at their equipment here, this person has an M24, and this is sort of a sniper rifle with incredibly long range and power. Um, if I were to try and get my troops up sort of around here um, to pick at them with the Lee Enfield or with the pistols, I'd find myself outgunned sort of at range and have the potential to lose a person in one shot from incredibly long distance. This uh, unfortunate person managed to sort of get up there and just, just die from all the way over there. Everyone else just has a pistol or an LMG. There's actually two M24s here, as you can see. So this is actually an incredibly dangerous group to go up against. This means that it's actually safer for me to let them bombard my, my town. It's safer for me to stay it huddled in my uh, village here and hope that the shells don't hit. Now, I have got a save file, so if they do get a lucky hit, just directly hit somebody, I'm more than willing to reset because of that. And frankly, the odds of them directly hitting you with one of those is quite low. So don't ever sort of think that you can't do resets for this game because some things happen that are just unfair. Um, so we're going to put this on fast speed for a little bit. And one of the things that's going to constantly happen is we're going to be losing a lot of bits of wall. Um, is that a big deal? Not really. I'm not too worried about the fact that we're going to constantly be losing little bits of wall. So we're just going to repair things as they get broken. And hopefully uh, we won't be doing too much damage to ourselves here. We won't be losing too much out of the process. As you can see, most of the shots are going to go ridiculously wide. So because of that, we're not going to worry too much about the situation. These walls here take a lot longer to repair because they are made out of granite, but that's fine. And eventually what's going to happen is the mental state of these guys up here is going to get so low that they can't stay here anymore. If we go to thoughts here, they're very tired. Once it gets to urgently tired, about 20, they'll do an attack, and um, once that happens, you just want to make sure that they're, you're capable of defending against it. Huh. That's annoying. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue just repairing everything that gets destroyed, because honestly, like, it's pretty easy to repair this stuff, and I kind of like the fact that I get scrap metal out of it, because um, it's kind of ridiculous that I get uh, metal out of the wood, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oops. Wood, replace that, wood, replace this, and we'll put a haul order for these things here. So the one thing that's absolutely critical is that you from time to time go in here and check your power line. So as you can see, this one got cut, and it's cut to these things, so that's actually quite important. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cancelling some orders here because of that. Everything up there, everything down here. And we're going to get everything else repaired first, because I need power to these guns. That's going to be sort of the actual necessary thing here. And uh, that just took out a little bit of wall, I think, but let's check our power lines anyway. Now, this is an annoying thing, and we'll have another way of dealing with this a little bit later, but if we look into our research here, I'm currently researching mortars. I was hoping that I'd have it researched before this happened. Unfortunately, I didn't, so we're being attacked by mortars. Um, but if you look here... Uh, it says that they're now beginning their assault wave, so what we can do now is we can turn on our turrets. And um, what's going to happen is that they're going to come in all the way around up here and attack. Um, everybody, how tired are you? Uh, slept in the heat. You're, none of you are actually that tired, so what I'm going to do is draft everybody. Get them out over here, and we're going to have everybody take a defensive position. So. Um, 
I'm actually going to sort of have everyone spread out as much as possible so that they're not in each other's lines of fire. And you do that by doing sort of like this here. KSK, you've got a knife, you're useless. Alright, so... The reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to actually capture or kill as many of these enemies as possible. I don't want to just have them run in and get scared off by these turrets. We actually want to either kill these guys and take their gear, or we want to capture some of them. So, that's going to be our priority here. We're going to turn this back into a prisoner bed. <coughs> this also gives me a chance to double check something. This is for nobody. We're going to set that for prisoner as well. We're being optimistic here. But here you can see they're heading in, and um, their mental state, very, very uh, tired and stuff like that. They ate off the ground, all that other stuff. So if we look at this, um, they've got a really bad mood, that's why they're attacking here. No injuries, no pain or anything. You can see they've lit a bit of a fire here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to undraft KSK, and uh, he's already fighting that fire, so... Brett over here, getting shot at, dead, alright. And then uh, I'm actually going to draft you and have you stab this guy to death. Oh, nope, he's given up, so I'm going to let him run. Looks like KSK took some friendly fire, that's okay. We're going to have you capture Iskara, the escapee. And it looks like everyone else is going to get away with that is okay. So, what we are going to want to do is uh, go ahead and start stripping these corpses. <clears throat> you know, the usual sort of stuff here. And we want to make sure that this person here is going to be getting um, adequate care. Also, I want to just do a quick check here with our characters. Who is good at shooting? You are not, you are not, you are. Okay, so you're going to go get that M24 there. Maxwell, are you good at shooting? No, you're actually terrible at it. You are really good at shooting. You're going to get the LMG. Keisuke, you're going to get the uh, pistol after this. Or actually, we'll give you the Lee Enfield after this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sit, switch you over to recruit. You get medicine. We're going to have friendly chats. And we're going to have you go grab... Or we're going to have you strip that pirate over there. Okay, so we don't have enough for this, so we're going to set that to medical. And we're just going to take this a little bit slow. And put the Lee Enfield. So, you know, that was a very easy attack wave to sort of survive and get through and all that other good stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit now that we've gotten this going. And uh, Iskra should be getting good quality treatment here pretty easily. And this should make it a little bit easier to uh, capture her. And uh, switch her over to her side. Did I accidentally let the buys get dragged over there? Yes, I did. Shit. Oh, well. Okay, so we unfortunately uh, didn't uh, do this fast enough, but uh, oh, well. Need more graves. Who's having a mental break soon? All right, well, whatever. He was saying someone's having a mental break soon, and then they're like, ah, oh, no, never mind, just kidding. That's the thing about going quickly, sometimes that happens. Alright, so we don't really need this metal right now. So we're going to go ahead and cancel all of this. We've got a lot of metal that we can get access to if we'd like to. But we are, however, going to go ahead and get access to this uh, energy over here. And we also want to let um, Maxwell over there continue on uh, researching if we can. Got a lot of stuff that we need sorted out, though. Let's go over everybody's gear just a little bit more. Okay, synth red and synth red, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see here. I think Maxwell is our guy that is good at fighting. No, he is not. Who is? Silva? No. Lestrait. Okay, so uh, we're going to actually get him... Okay, they're moving that. We'll, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Um, we're going to probably give him some of our uh, better fighting gears, because uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to get into fights and win. And we're going to continue making sure that we're cooking. I think this is suspended right now. Let's unsuspend that. <clears throat> I 
we look at our prisoner over here they're not too difficult to recruit so that is fine mysterious blight destroyed my crops that's not really great but fine one of the nice things about devil strand is that it won't actually um it, it, it doesn't die when you get the mysterious blight situation okay so a little, little straight uh we're gonna wait till you wake up once you do we're going to have you wear some other stuff here Okay, so you are going to go wear that armor vest. We're going to turn off these to conserve battery power. We'll get those charged up just a little bit. But you can see that we've got lots of interesting stuff going on at this point in time. We're going to add a build to make a longsword. We want it to be made out of plasteel because we'll be able to sell it for ridiculous amounts of money. And we want to just check how much uh, medicine do we have here. We've got seven medicine left. That's not a lot. Um, at this point in time, it might be a good idea for me to go pick up that medicine that was up here. It's not real medicine, it's the herbal medicine, but it can be useful for that purpose. Maybe not, um, we'll see. We're gonna pick up the silver, though. And let's, uh... Let's unforbid that and all this stuff. Just that, uh, it'll get out of the way. And these meals here as well. Fail to recruit, that's fine. And uh, we've got pretty much a full house here, including our prisoner, who I'm assuming is going to be joining our side. At this point in time, it's uh, once you're full on rooms, it's a good idea to start thinking about expanding out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a bit of a house expansion here. This is good. Let's go like this. And uh, that looks like a square, I think. That'll be good for now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and furniture that up as well, so. Going to need more wood, I suspect. Let's go ahead and cut down some of these trees. We are going to want pretty soon to have access to some more people, but uh, don't know how long that is necessarily going to take us. Um... Surprised they haven't finished constructing that geothermal there. <clears throat> Alright, so I do also want Maxwell to be doing his research. Where'd he go off to? I think he's running off to yeah, he's running off to collect things. I'll let him grab that chunk of silver, but then after this I'm gonna have him prioritize research. Okay, so that room's done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not do anything right now, actually. Need to get the plants replanted, and we need to get that geothermal done, which it is. So we're going to go ahead and hook that up here. And once that's hooked up, our batteries are going to be overcharging a little bit too fast. We have to watch that. Once the batteries are getting kind of full, we'll either turn off that generator or we'll turn on some turrets. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, Maxwell, we are going to have you prioritize research for a little bit here. In fact, we can go ahead and use these to prioritize research for Maxwell. He already has that prioritized. So let's unprioritize hauling back to normal. And as you can see, I'm still cooking fine meals. There's no reason for me to cook the normal ones. Just keep cooking fine meals. You'll be okay. There's no problem with it. It's not a waste of resources or anything. And uh, we could. Here, here's where I'm. I'm saying that like this is important. This concrete is important here. Um, this can't spread too far, I don't think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove home region, and we're going to remove that. Just because we don't want any of our colonists burning themselves. So that's going to burn down, but it can't actually get to our trade goods or anything. All right, brace successfully recruited. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this room a little bit nicer. Uh, wait, Bray successfully recruited someone else. Who's the person that got recruited? Um, and where'd they go off to? Iskra, it's you. You need a weapon, so let's go grab a pistol. And your gear is what? Your gear is actually really nice. I bet you used to have a good gun, but uh, now you don't. So let's check you. You're good at mining. Okay. How's that doing? Bray's... Got a kind of close to finish. 
I like how he put it in the fridge and then it's like, nah, I'm just gonna eat it. Alright, we've got 36 meals basically. Not a huge amount, but not a terrible amount either. I'd like to get that stockpile up there a little bit. <clears throat> I think that managed to melt some of the plasteel that was there. I did not think that that stuff melted that easily. Hmm. Oh no, wait, that was stuff that's being used by Bray for this unfinished plasteel longsword. So that's going to get made and is going to be worth a huge amount of trade. So uh, that's the purpose of that, which is nice. We're also getting research done quickly. In this phase of the game, what I'm really sort of concerned about is whether or not I'm going to be able to have those mortars up and running in time for whenever I need them. And uh, I didn't have them for the last thing, in fact, and that was kind of bad. But uh, all right, let's get this done. Now, admittedly, even if I did have the uh, mining, or sorry, the mortars done, I wouldn't really have wanted to have gone out there uh, and dealt with a guy with an M24. Um, you know, I, I would just sit back and fire mortar shots at them. I would still lose a lot of stuff in my buildings like, you know, you would expect to do normally. But um, that doesn't really have a lot to do with me right now. All right, we're going to get the uh, stone cutting next. We're going to go ahead and research that. And stone cutting is important for the sort of resources that you can get out of it, but uh, let's, just, let's just turn that off for now. And let's go ahead and go security. And we'll get the regular steel mortar. And we're going to go ahead and put down a couple over here. And we'll put one over here, I think. That should be good for now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Probably just never going to recover gonna like die from whatever this is I have but other than that you know should be okay now I'm building three it takes a lot of steel to build each of these but we have lots and lots of steel so this isn't that bad a situation as far as that goes like we can see that we are gonna have to chop down a little bit more steel but we've got quite a lot so once we finish mining up all this we should be okay and I think is that that's a granite wall damn it okay well, let's not worry about that then. But as you can see, we're still getting uh, plenty of meals flowing in. We're increasing up. We're, we're up to 44 now, which is good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put down a hunt order for these deer over here. And I'm simultaneously going to make sure that only one person is hunting. Uh, new person, were you hunting? No, you're not. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and allow this to happen. <coughs> the reason we're doing one person instead of letting everybody hunt is because I don't want friendly fire. And uh, we're going to increase our security just a little bit here. We're going to actually start putting down our security turrets that are going to be kind of um, defended rather than just the ones that are suicidal. Uh, the way I use these turrets is the ones that are up front, I actually just let them get killed. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just put that there, put that there. And that's enough for those things don't have enough steel for these projects, hopefully they'll start mining eventually. <clears throat> Looks like they're taking a bit of steel from the environment as well. Apparently I'm hunting with an L LMG. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's amazing. Alright, still picking up more stuff from the environment. Uh, these are also okay to pick up. Alright, everything's looking okay right now. But, uh... We want to hurry up and get these mortars finished. There's one done. And this one has enough resources, it'll just have to get built. So, oh, we've got two of them done, actually. And a dead turtle in here. Interesting. So once we get our potato stockpile up again, I'll be a little bit happier. Should actually probably increase our growing zones. Let's go ahead and increase that up to include here. Um, yeah, we need steel. That's fine. I knew that. That's why we're mining. <clears throat> I like how we just keep getting, um, updates to that. Alright. Now, hopefully we'll get a trade ship coming in soon, because I do want to buy more of these medicinal equipment, uh, things here. Medicine is very important in this game and it's hard to get. So it's uh, 
kind of important to acquire it whenever you can get it. All right, so once we've got that, I like to get cremation. It doesn't really matter what you get once you've gotten geothermal. Geothermal's just the super important thing. I'm gonna turn these on so our batteries don't blow out. <coughs> when you see your batteries are actually full, um, that is potentially bad. Sometimes they blow a fuse. So you just want to make sure that they get drained out just a little bit every once in a while and that you sometimes turn off your uh, superfluous uh, power supplies. Alright, let's see here. Got some visitors. What's probably happening is there's probably tons of collateral damage amongst these deers because he's hunting them with the machine gun. Um... This is actually kind of miraculous. It looks like he has not... He has only shot the deer that he's meant to shoot every time, it looks like. Alright, so we got ourselves a group of pirates. Um, looks like they're gonna attack immediately, I think. Um, we're gonna grab everybody here. Make sure that no one goes back out there. And we're going to go ahead and slowly inch this back into play here. But what might happen is they might go ahead and attack... Oh, no, wait, they're immediately besieging. Okay, so this is a good time to start talking about why I like these mortars here. So, we're gonna have him man the steel mortar, you man the steel mortar. Oops. That's why. Okay, Sk, you're gonna man the steel mortar. You three are gonna go do whatever the hell it was you were gonna do. <coughs> He's probably gonna go out and hunt, that's fine. I don't think he'll be in range of their guns. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So, what's going to happen here is, you can see my guys have already started firing, and um, this doesn't actually do a whole lot in terms of necessarily killing them very quickly or efficiently, but occasionally you'll get a good lucky hit on one of them. And if we go check their gear, again, frag grenades, LMG, uh, granite shiv, pistol, I might be able to pick these, no, they've got two M24s, okay, good. So that proves my point. Um, sometimes these guys won't have an M24, and you will. In those particular circumstances, it is more than fine for you to just go ahead and go to town on them with an M24 from beyond their gun range. Um, while people are here, you are going to want to keep track of their thoughts. Hot, hungry, slept in the heat. There's nothing I can really do for them about that right now. It is 33 degrees after all, but uh, all in all, these people seem to be pretty decent mood, so they're going to be able to do this for a little while longer. And uh, he's now urgently hungry, so we're going to let Maxwell go do whatever it was he's going to do. And uh, you are perfectly happy, so you're going to man that steel mortar. And uh, you, you're quite uh, bad off there, so... But let's follow one of these. Nope, that's going to miss. Damn. Nope, oh, that one actually landed right in the middle of them, but they uh, seem to have avoided any damage from it. Just keep control of these guys' thoughts. Use mind control where necessary. <clears throat> and all you want to do is get a couple lucky hits. Pick off one or two of them. That was close. If it was just a bit shorter, that would have been fine. Okay, well, we've got a group of students coming in to help us. That is the least helpful thing I've ever heard. Um, it's like, oh yeah, some, like, college undergrads or something have decided they're going to help you kill things. Fantastic game. Okay, so we want to just keep this rotation up, though. Looks like this is an incendiary mortar. You can tell from the color of the shell. And uh, that is going to do really nothing there. It landed in a bad place. So, uh, let's see here. Tired. Urgently hungry, so we're, you're going to get off the hook there. And um, that turtle died in his room. And we're going to go ahead and recruit you and put you on this steel mortar. Let's see if this is going to hit. Yep. Actually, th these guys came in at a good angle. Uh, this this could actually be quite interesting. Uh, they're going to get their butts kicked, but I mean... Okay, apparently they're not firing back. I think they're trying to get to my base. <laughs> but instead they're just getting destroyed, so <laughs> that does happen. I think this guy's trying to help his friend. 
He's like, don't go, buddy. Okay, this fire needs to get fought. Uh, you're going to prioritize extinguishing fires here. Okay, and you are okay. You're kind of okay. And you, I think I can let you off the hook now. You're tired. You slept in heat, but you're fine. Okay, so Maxwell, he's mostly okay, so I'm gonna have him man the Steel Mortar as well. <clears throat> and compared to last time, you can see that I've managed to pick off, like, one of them, basically. There's no way I could go out there and recover his body, um, at the time, but, uh... You know, that is fine. Alright, I need to be careful about what, what these guys hit. What's the incendiary one instead of the normal one? It's actually quite, uh... Easy, compared to, comparatively, you know. And they've begun their assault wave, so you guys can get off of there now. And Bray as well, you can get off there. And do whatever it is you wanted to do. But, uh, my actual, oh crap. My defenses here should be sufficient to keep this, uh, all up and running. That's right, Lestrade. Get the hell back in there. Okay, he's managed to slip in there without any incident. There we go. <coughs> These visitors from Student River apparently are leaving. And we're going to go ahead and go down to normal speed. Lestrade's pretty badly injured. We're going to get him inside here. But the turrets, as they are, should be able to handle this situation pretty easily. Well, that's annoying. Alright. Now, let's see if that injured guy is still there somehow. Because he very well could... Oh, there's a fire there. <laughs> he is there, though. Okay. Well, we're going to go capture him. We are going to need some more graves, it looks like. This is why I am researching the... Whatchamacallit. Okay, so hopefully someone will go heal the strat. That would be lovely. But until then... Looks like there is a bit of rain. That should put up this fire a little bit. And hopefully this guy is going to be alive. Alright, done. Captured. I'm gonna go ahead and unforbid a bunch of these things here. Trade ship, combat supplier, that is an excellent thing to see here. Alright, so Maxwell is our negotiator, if I recall. You're going to go ahead and call those guys. We're going to turn this back on since our generator is, uh, we kind of want more power. But we're going to go ahead and sell a whole bunch of these things, including this plasteel knife here. Grant Shiv, Sandstone Club, the Pila, Pistol. And we're going to go ahead and buy a bunch of medicine. And this means that um, we're going to be able to do a lot more healing before we're in trouble there. Mental break and we'll straight soon. Uh, okay, someone go help we'll straight. You are going to be our prisoner. You are going to be recruited. We're going to have friendly chats. You're going to stop medicing this guy. <coughs> Someone go help Lestrade. Do I not have more than one doctor? I've got two doctors. I need to... Oh, Lestrade is one of them. Shit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Help Lestrade first, you assholes. <laughs> There we go. Bulk goods trader as well. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're going to go ahead and check this guy. You guy, you are pretty good. He's got he's got a shattered rib, which is apparently not going to f be fixable. But uh, he looks like he's going to live to me.
And we're going to go ahead and unforbid some of this other stuff here. Alright, you, I need you to go strip the Commissar. Another bulk trade ship. Huh, interesting. Alright, and now that I've done that, I kind of want to also make sure that I strip all the bodies up here. But it looks less important in this case, since they don't seem to have anything good on them. So, let's ignore that for now. Let's get Maxwell to go over to the comms. Check out some of these bulk goods traders. See if I can sell something here. Uh, I can sell deer hide, that's about it. Uh, we could go ahead and sell our deer hide. I don't really need it that badly. But let's go ahead and not do that. Let's see what the other one has. Um, if they're willing to buy anything else. Doesn't look like it, and they don't seem to have anything that I want to buy. So, gonna let that happen. Not really concerned here. <clears throat> but yeah, that was a pretty effective uh, defense against um, our enemies there. Strait is uh, finally fully healed. That took forever. All right, let's go check those deer he's been hunting. Looks like he still has not caused any collateral damage with an LMG. That is very impressive, I've got to say. All right. So Maker healing up nicely. We'll probably be able to recruit him. He seems pretty useful too. Very good at research, but, uh, and crafting. What we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that he's going to be the one doing all of our crafting in a little bit. <clears throat> Once, of course, we've gotten him recruited. And, uh, Lestrat, instead of hunting your... We have enough hunting done for now. We're going to have you go and strip those corpses up here. I like how these guys are theoretically Luddites, but they've all got, like, guns and stuff. I'm going to unforbid this as well. Um, going to strip you. That's a cloth toque. What have you got here for gear? You've got cloth, cloth. Let's give you the cowboy hat. There we go. Alright. So eventually someone's going to come around and deal with those corpses. Mm. Not too worried about those. Um, got a warrior from wherever visiting. That's fine. Nothing too big a deal. And once again, we're kind of full up on... We got a full house again, basically. There we go. Let's uh, not forget this, actually. Sometimes I do forget to include doors. Which is bad. Okay, we finished cremation. Um, let's go ahead and pick gun turret cooling. The guns have been underperforming just a little bit, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and upgrade those. We'll even go into security, and we'll replace that uh, turret that we lost. <clears throat> what would be really nice at this point in time is actually a slave trader, because uh, it's a little bit easier to get those guys around your side some reason than uh, all these people that you have to negotiate with. And we're just going to keep an eye out again on Lestrat and whatever it is he's doing here. We don't want him to kill too many deer that are going to... Uh, all right, we got a maker over here. Let's go jump to his location. You, we need to get you a weapon. Looks like uh, there aren't any down there. So we're going to have you go all the way up here and pick up one of these guys' weapons while you're at it. Looks like it's where he's going anyway, but we'll just uh, go ahead and pick that. All right, so because we've got someone who's so good at crafting, we're going to turn off crafting for... Uh, actually, these guys are okay, so we're going to have him be our priority crafter. Because he'll probably make really high quality stuff that sells for more. <clears throat> Bray over here, still working on this. It's got quite a lot of work to do, but we'll be able to sell that for quite a good chunk of money. Alright, visitors are leaving. Trade ship, combat supplier passing by. Okay, that is fine. Actually, I forgot, there's this uh, M24 down here. Crap. Well, we'll let him bury this person, and then we'll have him grab an M24. He's not great at shooting, but he's not terrible either. There we go. We could also start passing around helmets, I think. Maxwell, do you want a helmet? Yeah, let's get you that Kev Kevlar helmet before you go to sleep there. Just want to make sure that we're using whatever we can here. Turtle died. We'll eat that. 
Okay, the Muffalos have been driven insane. There are Muffalos on this map. When did they get here? Okay, so they're going to go nuts and start attacking everything within sight. Now, the thing is, these Muffalo will actually start running through my defensive turrets, and they can actually be killed by turrets now. Uh, so what we're going to do is have our colonists basically haul ass back into the colony. And uh, we're actually going to make sure that these guys are not going to all walk outside while these Muffalos are attacking. Just have to be a little bit careful watching what they're doing and probably set it to medium speed here. So, KSK, uh, you are going in there. That is fine. I need to check one more thing, actually. Okay, good. I want to make sure that, like, no one is cooking that is not good cooking. Uh, taking up that space there. I just have to constantly keep an eye on you guys to make sure that you aren't doing anything too silly here. Because these muffalos are probably going to wreck us otherwise. Did this one get beat to death by a squirrel? Wild boar, okay. Well, whatever. Maker, where are you going? Okay. Let's get them to do this. This will keep them busy for a few seconds. That's all I really need here. Okay, no, she is uh, trying to get out there. Okay, you just stand over there. You just stand over here. And we'll just uh, have you guys assist the turrets. When animals have gone sort of crazy, this is a legitimate way to do things. All right, Maker, where are you going? Good. Are they beating each other up now? Interesting. That had some interesting sound effects for these guys. I don't remember them having uh, all these voices. <coughs> Alright. Alright, so let's get you two back to doing whatever the hell it was you were going to be doing. And we'll put a hunt order down on the muffalo that are here. They're still alive. Then we'll pick up the other ones later. Hopefully this won't cause too much collateral damage. In fact, we're also going to go ahead and hunt this one. And there were some deer back here that we want to unforbid. So basically someone's going to come along and just cap the remaining muffalo. There we go. There's another dead thing in there. There we go. One of them must have died. Alright. Now... More than anything, we're still running out of potatoes, it seems. Maxwell turned 35. Good for you, Maxwell. There we go. <clears throat> Thought he was about to shoot uh, someone with friendly fire there. Alright, so we've got tons of meat now. That's not really something we're going to be concerned about for a while. Got some visitors, that's fine. We're going to go ahead into our architecture thing. And we kind of need to do this. I forgot about this for a little while there. Oh well. But uh, yeah, our food's still ticking upwards. We've gotten ourselves pretty well established. Our defenses are now pretty decent. This is all you really need for quite a bit of the game. What's going to happen is these ones in the front are going to get exploded quite frequently. Um, I'm eventually going to want to build a strip of turrets over here, maybe some over here. Um, but for now, this is a pretty good setup. Um, the ones that explode near the front are going to cause a lot of damage to the enemies. We've got some... Um, we, we've got a bit of a problem in that, like, we need to continue on building more rooms, but that's not really so much a problem as it is just the way things are. Um, I should actually go ahead and build a light in this room over here, because I know that uh, people are happier working in the light. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this. This way, when this wall keeps getting exploded by mortar shells, we'll uh, be able to continue using our electronics over there, but uh, that's besides the point. And once we've done that, we can start building ourselves... Um, our crematorium. Now, the reason that I built this, uh, got stone cutting first, is because I do want to be able to actually build my freaking crematorium. The thing is, if I don't have this set up properly, I can't actually 
build the crematorium. I don't have enough rocks around, uh, stone blocks around this map here that are ready for me to use. So I, I have to basically do this. Now, I do remember there was a drop of them somewhere, but um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much. One of the ways that I can get more is by going into this building over here. I'm going to go ahead and do this now, actually. We're going to claim this entire building. We're going to deconstruct everything there. And once we've done that, that's going to get us a lot of granite. So we'll be able to probably make a granite one. Got a tiny little strip here of uh, unmined metal. And don't think that this is a particularly large amount of metal. This is a lot of exposed metal. But uh, there are actually a lot of maps that have this much metal. It's just that you have to you sometimes dig a little bit deeper into the mountain. And once you've done gone a little bit in there, you're going to find tons and tons of metal, no problem. <laughs> Alright, combat supplier again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have... Do we have a better warden now? Nope, still Maxwell. Okay, so... Where'd he go? Maxwell... Let's have you go and quickly talk to this combat supplier. As you can see, we did finish this poor longsword. It's not the best, best made one, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, we're actually going to turn you off of crafting right now. Um, and hopefully Maker is going to be the one who makes our next sword. So we're going to go ahead and build another one. And uh, we can sell this plasteel longsword. It's poorly made, but it's still worth 1,400 basically. Uh, we'll sell this granite shiv and we'll sell that pistol. We'll keep the armored vest, I should put that on somebody, and we'll buy as much medicine as possible. Combat suppliers sell the uh, medicine for cheapest. And I need to make sure that Maxwell's the one who's using that. So we're going to let him start one, and that means that he'll be the one who's using that. So, anyway, this has been a fairly long episode. You can see all the different concepts that I want to talk about pretty easily. Using these mortars to sort of thin down people who are attacking you how to sort of deal with these outbursts of uh, people dropping in on you from uh, wherever with siege equipment or whatever, and sort of uh, dealing with what you want to be building at any given time, making sure that you're constantly building things effectively. So anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.